Greetings to all melanated people all around the world. It's really a joy and a pleasure to be out here sitting in the bed of a river and the river is right here on the left hand side and you can hear the song of the river and you can feel the vibration and the energy of the river and as you listen to the river I want to say this to you that inside of you is a river of living water that is flowing within you and at a certain time and a certain season you will become one with that river and you will come right into your sea of knowledge and understanding you come into that place of your eternal self because that's what the sea represents okay with that being said I want to speak to you on a very important topic which I will call spiritual vampires and the reason why I choose this topic is that I would have heard many like myself melanated ones speak about the Caucasian and I would have had an experience whereby someone would have met me and we were in a conversation and the person was rather shocked that there was somebody in her country who was speaking black consciousness and she told me she was listening to people like Omar Johnson and so on and when she went on my, my channel the first thing that she could have mentioned was concerning William Branham and William Branham being a white man and so I come to realize that people are getting the wrong message and there are many who are spreading a message whereby they are having the people to develop resentment against the Caucasian and so on and when you do that you are actually defeating the purpose because Really and truly, the Caucasian is actually your lower self. And you have to understand that all things exist in your human imagination. All things exist within the mind of man. And everything is false mental. And you have to realize also that every one of us on the face of this earth our bodies is the earth and there's an infinite source and that infinite source is what puts us to sleep at night and wake us up at morning so basically what I'm saying there's one universal universal consciousness in other words I'm saying there's one life there's one way and there's one truth and as far as I'm concerned to me I am the only one exists in the world let me, let me pray along for you everyone around me and everything around me is a projection of what is inside of me and that's how I perceive life and everything that happens around and so I see now whereby the Caucasian being the lower energy that feeds off of negative energy and low vibration 
and the energy and life is the same. So when you look at a, let's say, a movie with a vampire and the vampire is sucking blood and the vampire can't survive without blood, I'm saying the, the Caucasian cannot enslave your mind or influence your thinking in a negative way. If you stick with a positive mentality and if you see that your biggest enemy is yourself and that there is no one to change but yourself and that you cannot change the system and that you cannot change the Caucasian either but you have to rise above the mind of the Caucasian by getting in touch with your most with your innermost self and loving yourself and using your energy wisely or in other words investing your energy circulating your energy understanding how energy frequency and vibration works So the Caucasian and I are one because as far as I can son and as far as I, as I can see the Caucasian is like a mutation from half of us because everything they manufacture or uh, uh, what they produce it's it's hybrid it's not a hundred percent it's not it's not natural it's unnatural and we have to admit that there's a side of us that is like that there's a side of us that is intellectual there's a, a side of us who want to go above the higher self which is actually the ego self. There's a part of us that don't like to be taught, especially by our own. So, the vampirism comes in now by the Caucasian benefiting from you living at the lowest chakra at the root chakra, where you live at your lower self, the level of your lower self. When you, when, 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 when you gratify the flesh, and when you gratify the things that are temporal, and when you, you try to major and a minor, so, when you encourage hatred, envy, malice, and all the negative things you can think about, then that will give, give them the power to put guns in the hands of our own people to kill each other. And when you get caught up with greed, and everybody wants to see who can drive the fastest car, and buy the biggest brand shoe, and the biggest name brand clothes, and all of these things, it is more strength and more power to the lower self. So, the whole message of being more conscious and being more aware as black people it is not about resenting and, and, and separating yourself from white people and having hatred towards them <laughs> but it's to understand them and the way how they think and the way how you're supposed to think and to understand life in general by understanding who you are and what is your purpose upon the face of this earth and how you can be more productive to society 
and how we can help your people to break out of the ignorance. So, when you, um, when you give yourself over to negativity, that negativity comes across to the lower self as positivity. And that's why we call Kenya laws benefit from the ignorance of black people and our, our, our melanated people, I should say. Because some of the other I start within my mind, I, uh, the word, I don't even like all the word black as the word lack in it. So, I prefer to say melanated people. Okay? So, my brothers and sisters, I hope what I'm saying that you get what is needed for you to get from it. As I would always say, I am not an intellectual man and I do not have books. I go by the leading of my intuition and I didn't even have this, this, this one written down in my book. Okay, by just being obedient to my intuition. I want to thank you very much for listening to me and I want to say this to you. Forget focusing on the Caucasian as a people living outside of yourself and see them as the low vibration and the low energy and the egotistic side of you. And when you do that, you will be an overcomer and you will be able to rise higher and stop being a slave to the dollar and let the dollar be your follower. So with that being said, I want to thank you very much and as usual, I want to always give you the sign of the rising sun and it is in Matthew 6, 22. You see, if your eye be single, your whole body will be full of light. Get in to the intelligence and get in to the real vortex. Peace. Love you.